All right, y'all, y'all already know. So, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, so we'll be fighting tomorrow night on Netflix. My son person got a playoff game, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to stream it on my phone. Or I'm not streaming on my phone while watching this playoff game. But as y'all can see in this image, they both did a weigh-in. And, um, you know, Mike looked in shape, Jake Paul looked in shape. But clearly, Mike Tyson then slapped Jake Paul. If you see the video, and I can put a link to the video in the, in the description. But uh, he smacked Jake Paul. Clearly, Jake Paul looked confused. He don't know what to do. And um, let's just be honest, man. Mike Tyson's going to win this fight. The only way he doesn't is just he if he just takes a dive. But I highly doubt it. I really hope not. Um, do I want Mike Tyson to be fighting? No. Do I think it's because? Do I think it's because of money? Yeah, not because he needs the money, but I mean, allegedly or reportedly, he was offered twenty million dollars to take this fight. So I mean, you know, people are excited. I actually talked to my daughter about it. And she said people are betting on Mike Tyson to lose. But come on now, if anybody who has half a brain would know that Mike Tyson, who was undisputed by the age of 21 years old he had the wba the wbc and the ibf because the wbo wasn't um a uh, uh, top belt at that time at 21 years old is going to go in there and take a dive to, to jake paul i mean going to lose to jake paul yeah he's a lot older he's pushing 60 but we're talking about skill set we're talking about ring iq we're talking about his mindset jake paul is a internet star mike tyson was literally trained from the age of 13 to become an undisputed champion jake paul didn't really start getting the boxing what a few years ago and it seemed like at first it turned as a gimmick then he took it serious and look i'm not taking nothing from jake paul i believe he knocked out was it was that him that knocked out nate robinson back in the day <laughs> a couple years ago nate robinson he was playing around and not really training right and then he you know he got put to sleep but come on now we're talking about mike tyson was trained by the best one of the best trainers of all time custom auto and not just from a physical standpoint but from a mental standpoint but i get it it's entertainment you know I, I and i guess it's supposed to be a real fight but i really don't see it happening what i really could honestly see is mike tyson carrying jake paul i, don't, I can't remember how many rounds it's for but i could see that happening you know but i see i know it's down there in dallas and everybody's filling up but you know he he smacked jake paul what jake paul gonna what you gonna do about it ain't most people are not gonna do nothing with mike tyson the last time i i seen somebody throw a punch at mike tyson outside the ring is when lennox lewis y'all remember when uh tyson walked up on lewis lewis security stepped in tyson swung on him and then lennox lewis he swung on his security lennox lewis stepped in and uh took a swing at mike then they got the rumbling and stuff that's the last time somebody that that i can recall even remotely tried to do something to mike tyson outside the ring but uh i don't know man this is boxing who who knows hell mike tyson really might go in there and take a dive you know but i highly 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 doubt that um this isn't uh what was his name tyrone woodley or whatever with who jake paul knocked out this ain't him this ain't nate robinson and all these other you know no name no tier boxers we're talking about undisputed undefeated at one point heavyweight champion of the world you know then he went back and what he got two belts in the 90s he won the wba and the wbc at one point i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think